Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It's Rob Wynn here and I am back once again with some more Spammer Grammar. Now, if you don't know what Spammer Grammar is, I will just tell you quickly that it is when I show you one email, I've cut down from two because I'm trying to make them shorter, um, where I've been sent it in my spam. It's got terrible grammar, really badly written, and you, your challenge, in this uh, you know grammar esque uh, video is to correct it to edit the email and then uh, in two days time I'm going to come back with my edit of that email and then you can compare now before I get to that I would like you if you do like this video tap on that like button um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber um, share it if you want to share it that'd be great and hit that bell if you want to um, be notified every time I release a video. All right, let's just crack on and let's look at that first email. So the title, attention, colon, please, three exclamation marks. So this person is clearly um, wanting your attention and he's showing how urgent he wants my attention. Uh, there's also a comma here after that. So attention please. So the exactly the same as the start of the email. We got information from Mr. David that you are dead as he claimed to be your next of kin. Full stop. He sent a request to transfer your fund to him. Comma. He claimed that you got yourself in car accident and die on the way to hospital. Full stop. Here is her account information where she instructed us to transfer your fund, comma, five million dollars as your next of kin. Full stop. And then you've got this details. Let's go on to here. But we want to confirm that you are dead before we proceed to transfer the money to him, full stop. Please, if you are not dead, try to reply immediately, comma, so that we should cancel every communication with Ms. Linda Wells and arrest her for trying to claim your fund, full stop. Try, please try to confirm your information below, full name, address, phone number, Please remember now if you are still alive. Full stop. Thanks and God bless. Yours sincerely. Full stop. Chief Executive Director, United Bank for Africa. This uh, Bank for Africa is often in spam emails and I doubt it's from Africa. I suppose it could be, but they. I mean, they're giving the Bank of Africa, if there is a Bank of Africa, a bad rap. Anyway, so there we are. What do you think of that email? Pretty badly written, right? Well, go and clean it up. Sort it out, you out there. And practice your grammar and correct all the mistakes. And then write it down in the comments below. Either here or on Instagram or on Facebook or even in the WhatsApp group. All the links are below, so you can join them if you're not already a member. And uh, two days time, two days time, I am going to be back here on YouTube telling you my edits of that email. And you can compare and see how uh, how it compares to my edit. Um, but before I go, if you, wanna, if you did like this video, tap on that like button. Uh, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you doing? Tap on the subscribe button. Um, if you haven't, don't share it, you don't have to share it, but if you want to share it, tap on the share button. And then if you want to know every time I do a video, um, now I'm going up to five a week because I'm putting in some shorts in there as well. Just got to get those videos short, cram stuff into that video because if it's too long, no one will watch it. All right. That is what you should do. Press the bell and you'll be notified. All right. Lots of love to you all. I'll speak to you probably tomorrow for another short. All right, bye-bye.